I'm going to show you guys how to basically flash a custom kernel on your Droid Razor. This is actually a Droid Razor Max. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how to flash a custom kernel. It's actually kind of a, it's a Kexic kernel. So it has to be flashed onto a Kexic based ROM. So what I've got right here is Saijin Mod 10. And uh, it's the newest Saijin Mod. So let's go ahead and look at about phone right here. You can see it is the model of XT912, which is the Droid Razor or Droid Razor Max. Um, you can see your build date is from the 24th, um, so June 24th right there on the bottom. Very, very cool. You can also see your kernel version right here is a 3.0.8, um, and it is by Saijin Mod is your kernel base right now. So, we've got this installed. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys here in Trickster Mod um, your CPU frequency. So our minimum is 300 and our maximum is 1200 megahertz or 1.2 gigahertz. Um, and then you can see right here, right here you have your min and your max. Okay, So that's what you're running right now with the kernel that's in here with the stock on, or not stock, but with Saijin Mod 10.1 on this device. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into my file browser here and if I can find the file one I think yep here we go and then right here I have the kernel we're going to be flashing we're going to flash that so to do that basically you're just going to um, power off so we're going to go to reboot and reboot device and since CM10 on the droid droid razor is installed on Kexic and using SafeStrap we're just going to boot into SafeStrap here, um, which is an awesome recovery system by Hashcode, a great developer. And hit the menu button to get into it, and then flash this just like you would flash a ROM, Google applications, or whatever. And then I'll show you guys how this overclocks your kernel and gives you basically a custom kernel on your device. Here we go, here is SafeStrap. So we don't need to wipe anything, we don't need to do anything like that. You just make sure you're on your custom ROM, which I am right here, CM10.1. So you make sure that that is the one you're on, which is ROM slot 1. Go to Installs. I'm going to go up a level. Go to where I have my kernels. Click on them. Pick the one I want to flash. Make sure it's the one listed. And go ahead and flash it. That's it. Done. Reboot system. First reboot might take a little longer than a normal reboot. Shouldn't take too much longer. So I'm going to let this boot up. Just want to show you guys this. After I did flash this kernel, it did go ahead and do this Android is upgrading again it's uh, optimizing all my applications so don't be scared when it does this okay it looks like we have uh, fully booted up here um, there might be a little time of this being a little shaky for a little bit until everything gets really settled in on this first boot up um, but let me go ahead and unlock it and then let's go into trickster mod and it's been granted super user permission and now you can see your min is still 300 megahertz, but your max is now 1350 megahertz or 1.35 gigahertz. So we have now overclocked our device, and you can see there it is max CPU. There it is. So you also have a couple extra governors and things like that that you guys can change in Trickster Mod. Um, oh, yeah, here we go. All these little goodies you guys can mess with voltages and uh, things like that so uh, pretty pretty cool uh, pretty cool trickster mods a nice application also um, does a lot of good uh, good stuff in there and then obviously with this uh, custom Kexic kernel for CM 10.1 uh, and get your faster speeds and a lot of features you can do in trickster mod so that's it guys that's how you do it really simple how to do I'm gonna go ahead and link the uh, forum information in the video description down below so you'll see lots of good information down there um, as always please check me out right up here at rootjunkie.com check me out uh, over here at facebook and twitter and um, hope you guys like this and catch you guys later thanks